and is believed to be a major trading center before the invasion, before colonization, right? <laughs> um, so the people of Nacochtan or Anacostan were an Algonquian speaking people that lived along the southeast side of the Anacostia River, right? In the area between today's Bowling Air Force Base and Anacostia Park, right? Um, after tens of thousands of years of living here, and only 40 years of contact with uh, European invaders, the population of local First Nations was only one quarter of those that lived in the region prior to 1608, right? Many of the Nacochtans and other local First Nations died from diseases introduced by the Europeans and in the wars they fought against their invaders, okay? Many were trafficked to Europe. The part of history we're not often told, right? Um, others who escaped either managed to join other remaining nations to the north, south, uh, and the west. Okay? Another huge, huge foundational group that has made the ground that we walk on right now African Americans. Right? Uh, African Americans have been a significant part of Washington, D.C.'s civic life and identity since the city was first declared a national capital in 1791. Right? African Americans were 25% of the population in 1800, and the majority of them were held hostage, because that's what it means to be enslaved. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, by 1830, most were released from human captivity, right? Because this thing to say, when you, you're free, right? We're already born free. Well, I should be born free. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? So, to be enslaved, they took us here. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, and yet human trafficking remained. Right, because that's what slavery is, it's human trafficking, mm -hmm. right? African Americans, of course, resisted trafficking and injustice by organizing churches, private schools, societies, businesses, amassing wealth and property, leaving the city, demanding abolition, right? In 1848, 77 free, already born free, right? Uh, and enslaved, held in captivity, adults and children unsuccessfully attempted the nation's largest single escape aboard the schooner Pearl, right? It's a lot of history on where we sit, where we sit and where we stand right now, right? So in 1862, Congress passed the District of Columbia Emancipation Act, making Washingtonians the first free from human captivity in the nation, nine months before Lincoln made it uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, which we know was very political in his own words, right? So um, since the moment Africans both from this land Right, because now about certain one, right? We got we got to know the facts, right? Uh, both from this land and kidnapped from the continent have been here. They have impacted the very fabric, science, culture, and lifeline of this invaded land. Mm -hmm. All right, and so we gather here, all right, in honor of the people who made this city, right? And we honor the world we share with our communities, our larger communities. All right, so we're gonna hear from these stories and. Everything that you, I started watching a little bit, no, no uh, spoilers, right? <laughs> but um, everything they talk about is everything that we're, that's happening in D.C., the fights that we're doing right here in D.C. And we'll talk about that in the talk back. Say that again. Everything that they talk about in this documentary, the fights that they're, that, that they're going to be dealing with, it's is the same with. fights that we're having right here in D.C. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I made this, I know it's not school, you know what I'm saying, but some people might, you know, but you know, listen better, you know what I mean? But I got I made this little thing, you know, got a little chart in it, but um might help you kind of organize <coughs> some of the info that y'all about to be watching. And here's how I got it worked out. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna get it. Okay, let's see what see. Anybody want
we have a very complicated definition of science, right? If you break it down real simple, science is knowledge gained by observing patterns. What is it? Knowledge gained by what? Observing pattern. That's it. That's it. That's really what it is, right? So you're gonna you're gonna see a pattern. You're gonna see some patterns uh, manifesting in this documentary. Look out for that pattern. All right, and the three different stories that they manifest. All right, and that's all I'll say. I'm gonna pass this on. Who knows about what's happening over here? Do we have any sort of similar struggles going on over here? There are certain neighborhoods where it, it reeks of formaldehyde. I feel you, right? And it's gotten to the point where people have even like normalized it, right? Where they don't even, they don't even notice that it's in the air, right? So- There's air pollution. Absolutely, yeah. So in, in Ward 5 alone, right, like almost 50% of industrial waste of D.C. is put in Ward 5. The problem is what? The problem is is people living there, right? So, I mean, this is this is something happening right here in our home, right? So just th something to think about. I'm going to pass the mic over.